what's going on with all my money motivated stars now, this is gonna be a video about polo g situation it's gonna be a quick little video because i don't like diving into these rappers lives like that but i always make these videos to send out a message so this is rapper goes by the name of polo g he got a record deal i don't really know who he signed to but he facing i read a couple of blogs and i seen a couple of videos about the situation he's facing like 20 years in jail it could be false you know what i mean i don't like i don't know how far the details is into the situation but i know the start of the situation he's in this he's in a situation because the feds came to his door they were surrounding his door he even recorded on live or something he was like they got his house around it you know what i mean and they really came for from an incident from his brother robbing a cameraman you know what i mean his brother called his cameraman which is i think polo g cameraman and put a pulled a gun out on him and basically told him to send him some money or do something you know what i mean like i don't know if they had a prior situation before that what made him do that but it's a lot of incidents incidents where um his little brother had got him in trouble you know what i mean his brother's making a name for himself and it's not a good name you know what i mean but i just wanted to make this this video about exactly what i've been telling young people out here you know what i mean and be anger on people as well myself you know what i mean i constantly implement this in my life as well because it's a lot of people even family members i always talk about this y'all know this it's a lot of people who don't look at your success as a big thing sometimes you know what i mean because the only reason i say he don't look at his brother's success as a big thing because why is you still like robbing people you know what i mean even if that cameraman wronged you or whatever the situation may be y'all are rich now y'all can't handle things the street way like if he if if polo g got rich off being a street dude and he was in the streets then it's okay if he ain't in social media a lot of people don't know him by face you know what i mean it's okay to carry out this street life but to be a street dude and carry all this street stuff to the industry a lot of these people are gonna tell on you the cameraman snitched on him you know what i mean like you can't hold everybody up to a street standard and think they're not going to tell on you because a lot of these people are just citizens making money. Everybody is not a street dude, and these street dudes get so mad when they get snitched on, bro, by people who not street people. Now, I understand if you're dealing with another street character and you get snitched on, then, okay, it's like, what the rules there, bro? But, I mean, in this case, he doing a lot of reckless stuff. That's why Apollo G, like, even if people think this is a, um, a ritual or whatever going on, it's just, I've just seen a lot of situations like this in real life. You know what I mean? It's real situations like this going on in real life. It's people that's locked up right now for their family members because they want to be nice and show them a better life, but they end up doing something else. It's just like when Lil Durk first starts, I think when Lil Durk first got King Von out of jail or uh, signed King Von, First thing King Von was doing was robbing people in Atlanta. You know what I mean? That's why Dirk had caught that case. Le Dirk wasn't really catching no cases like that <clears throat> at the height of his career before King Von uh, got out. But like I said, you got to be careful with the company you keep. A lot of people just got their street life in them or some of them just want to make their name for themselves. You know what I mean? Because he's a polo. You don't know this bad for business. Even, you, even though you're not the one doing the robbing, that people talk you know what i mean they're just like me if i had a successful business if i had a a vegan shop you know what i mean where people come and shop and eat my food you know what i mean i had a whole little restaurant but i had a cousin who scammed money at the door you know what i mean like say if i charge five dollars for the interest fee i'm just saying if i charge five dollars for the interest fee and i got a cousin who i tell to collect the money if he at the door charging 15 when I only charge five, people gonna be looking at like, dang, this is high. You know what I mean? He messing up my business all to put some, all to benefit him. You know what I mean? So now I'm supposed to have this five dollar get in fee. Now people who just left my restaurant, now they, now word spreading like, nah, I ain't going back there. He charged 15, I charged 15 dollars. Now I don't know why I won't come to my restaurant. And I'm wondering why. You know what I'm saying? Because my cousin is bad for business. You know what I mean? Polo Legit. I said Polo Legit. 
<laughs> Hold on, G Love Brother is bad for business because he he out here star stuff and he see when you're not the brains of the operation, the people you bring around you will let the operation fall because they was never the brains of it. You know what I mean? The people who at the top and holding together. They got to be a boss and supervise everybody who's around them. You know what I mean? I know people want to let people live their own lives, but, bro, you a businessman at the end of the day. You can't let nobody compromise the name of your brand just because it's your little brother. I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your little sister. I don't care if it's your child. If you 30 years old or you 40 years old, you got a 20-year-old child and they, and they bad for business, they don't have to do something else, you know what I mean? They can't be all in your shop screaming and cussing all on the phone, talking loud and scaring customers away. But like I said, if you gotta keep the good company around them, because like I said, it's a lot of stuff that's blocking your blessings because it goes back to my other video where I said it's why you feel drained. A lot of people are blocking your blessings, you know what I mean? Polo G was not getting arrested in his career until he had his little brother around. You know what I mean? And it's crazy. I didn't seen a lot of it. It's like, cause it, even in my situation, if I was to make it somewhere, it's a lot of people out here in these streets I got love for, but it's a lot of people I just would not take with me. And like, if he if he loved your little brother, he can just send him money, you know what I'm saying? Do, do it like that. But to, as far as bringing you with me, I know what your presence brings. We might have a good time. You may not rob me, but you might be thinking about robbing the person who I just did a song with. You know what I mean? You gotta realize that too. A lot of people ain't gonna wanna be around his little brother and make a song. Like, bro, I wanna do a show. I wanna shoot a video with Polo G. But I heard uh, his little brother robbing him. You know what I mean? Cause I think it was another situation where Polo, Lee, Polo G, I don't know why I keep on saying Polo G. <laughs> Polo G artist i think Lil Lil or whatever he got his chain robbed by somebody that was cool with polo g little brother you know what i mean so it's like every time polo g little brother's around something bad happens you know so he's really messing up his main business like for real <clears throat> and there's a lot of people because i know a lot of people be wondering like why these people be still doing why these people still be robbing because a lot of people think that <clears throat> the entourage around these people they don't be rich as the person who has the money. You know what I mean? A lot of these rappers don't really break bread like that. They break bread as far as let's go shopping. And they will buy the entourage food. They will buy the entourage uh, clothing and all that. But the entourage still goes home with no money. All they're doing is being seen with Polo G. All they're, all they're doing is really living the lifestyle off him. So if, if he go to jail, Everybody stops eating. These rappers really don't even teach how to teach their family how to really fish. You know what I mean? They just give them the fish. So you gotta realize his little brother probably around him, wanting the same attention, wanting the same fame, wanting the same money. So he probably can branch off and do his own thing. Like I said, I don't know the situation, but like I said, nine times out of ten, that would it be. A lot of these rappers have people around him who want to be in their position. If not the spotlight, they want the same amount of money or close to the same amount of money that the rapper has. But like I said, a lot of people feed people. They don't show people how to feed themselves. So this is the situation you end in. Because like I'm pretty sure what I'm saying is correct. Because like if he was getting the same money as Polo G or close to it, he wouldn't be robbing a cameraman. How much money do you think a cameraman got? I ain't saying a cameraman is broke because they make tons of money. But you think a cameraman just walking around with 50 G's, 100 G's around like he a rapper or something? The cameraman, I would think in my head, are more responsible. You know what I mean? And they know they're going around shooting videos of people who's toting plenty of guns and aiming plenty of guns at their face. You know what I mean? Like I said, you got to stop. Just because this family, just because this family don't mean nothing. You know what I mean? Just because it's friends, just because you grew up with somebody, they don't mean nothing, man. These people will mess up your reputation because they, you got to realize, you worked hard to build up this reputation. They didn't. So they don't know the time, effort, and patience, blood, sweat, and tears it took to make their cake. They just apart. They just around you eating the cake. Like I said, you done, you done, brought, you done bought all the batter and all the mixtures to make this cake. But they sitting there eating it because you feel like, you know what I mean? They entitled to your stuff. Like where I said, you put the break bread with family and all that, but the right ones. 
Now don't don't build your cake and give this person a slice and this person ain't satisfied with the slice you gave him. Now he done threw the whole cake out the counter. Now ain't none of y'all eating. Because if Polo G get locked up for like 20 years like they saying, he done threw the whole cake out the counter. You know what I mean? Don't let nobody mess up your cake or mess up what you done built or mess up what you done cooked. That your empire that you done built up this whole time. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people... They intentionally do it. Not saying his little brother intentionally did. You never know what somebody's thinking, but like I see, a lot of people intentionally do it, and some people just don't know. You know what I mean? And they still take their same ways from the hood to the industry, and they end up getting people messed up. You know what I mean? Out of their own greed, they selfishness or what, selfishness or what they feel like they can gain out of the situation because they feel like, and it's so crazy. A lot of these people do the same, do these things. All they can do is just ask their other brother, hey, bro, uh, give, me 10 10, give me 10 bands so I can invest in this company. I can do this. You know what I mean? There's no brain work to behind what they're doing because they don't look at it like, okay, if I do this, my brother's a big rapper. Nine times out of 10. Then I'm robbing the cameraman who knows my brother. You know what I mean? Like, they don't even do it discreetly. You don't, you, you ain't worn no mask. You ain't went up hit somebody up that you don't know like they just do it in the most dumbest way in the most ignorant way not saying this right you should do it or go put on a mask go rob somebody because that's stupid just let people have what they work for but at the end of the day they're not even using their brains with the crimes they commit that's how you know a lot of these people they try to build up street reputations when they family member become rappers or a lot of these rappers start to build up reputations when they become rappers. You notice a lot of these rappers, man. It's a lot of these rappers who have never been in jail until they start rapping about the gangster life. Until they start doing this stuff. Until they start getting the entourage. It's only a couple rappers who've been in jail a lot of times. And that's one we can see on the internet. King Von, NBA Youngboy. And I'm talking about before the rap. It ain't too many rappers who are here claiming the street life who really been locked up like that. You know what I'm saying? They just started this stuff for an image. So, man, I just want to make this video about, man, being careful about the company you keep. Because a lot of people will destroy, kill and destroy anything that you build up if you don't watch them. And you so busy building your empire, you ain't got time to watch everybody. So just... Be comfortable with the people you do have around you so you won't have to monitor some 24-7 like they some babies. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, man, y'all hit the like button. Y'all hit the notification bell so y'all be notified every time I drop a video. Y'all be blessed on walking in smoke.